Hi, my name is Nolo Martinez, and I'm, uh, it's my pleasure to be part of this series to discuss uh, immigration. I will be bringing a local uh, perspective and uh, also talk a little bit about some of the experiences I have had for the last 24 years that I've been in the state of North Carolina. I uh, am a faculty member at UNCG. Um, I also work for the Center for New North Carolinians. Our focus is on immigration and refugees. And um, our mission is basically helping immigrants help themselves for the most part. One of the things that I wanted to discuss with you is the reasons why many immigrants have come to North Carolina. Uh, what are the uh, patterns or the trends as a result of that immigration? And then at the end, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, some of the local policies that have tried to deal with this growth on a negative and in a positive way. Uh, this is a, a very delicate issue for many folks, but I certainly think that when we put it in context, we can have a much uh, easier discussion, dialogue, and in many cases we can talk about debate if we frame it in the right uh, frame, uh, framework. Um, I wanted to first say that I came from the island of Puerto Rico about 24 years, and the reason for me to come to North Carolina was because of the educational opportunities that the state offered to me. Uh, one thing led to another, and um, as I get into uh, my presentation, I'll connect uh, some of the other things that brought other members of my family to North Carolina. Let me tell you a little bit about North Carolina. Uh, in 1990, uh, the population of Hispanics in North Carolina was not even 77,000. Uh, during the 90s and part of the 2000 years, North Carolina became the fastest growing Hispanic state in the nation. Many reasons for that. During the 90s, we had a great economy, and uh, one of the industries that was king and continued to be quite important in North Carolina became that industry that recruited and also was open for business and the business that many of these immigrants coming from Latin America were bringing. Uh, during those years, and just like uh, in immigration, uh, you can talk about a push and a pull. There are many factors that uh, are the reason why people are pulled into a nation or into a state. And that, uh, during those times, uh, meat processing plants, uh, tobacco growers, uh, Christmas tree producers, uh, the pork industry, crab pickers in the coast, actually went uh, out and solicited as well as hire individuals that were needed to satisfy the workers that could maintain those farms and those industries alive. And so it became an issue of demand and supply. It is important to, when you talk about immigration, to talk about the four criteria or the four main reasons why people migrate and why countries accept immigrants. Now immigrants, uh, if you look at the definition, would be a person moving from one country to another seeking permanent uh, status or seeking permanent uh, residence. Now it, it is true that many people that have come to our state to work in agriculture and many industries are not intending to stay here permanently. And we'll talk about some specific visas, for example, in agriculture that we have uh, been able to give to many people, especially from Mexico, to work in agriculture that are here temporarily. Those are not necessarily the immigrants we're talking about. They're not immigrants. They are guest workers in this case. But the four major criteria that I can use to define and uh, give some context to the conversation would uh, start with family reunification. As many of you know, family follow family. I talk about me coming here as a student. I came to do a doctorate at NC State. And soon after I came, uh, I realized that there were opportunities for the many skills that my 
siblings had and other members of my family. And many of them did come to study and many of them came to work and support many industries in North Carolina. My sister came. So fa families follow families. And in the case of me as a resident of Puerto Rico, uh, even though I cannot vote for the commander in chief as a, uh, an islander, a person that is a US citizen, uh, I was a legal um, citizen that could come to the United States uh, mainland, what we call the mainland, and work on my sister as well. So we d I didn't have to petition or anything like that. The second uh, reason why people are accepted and why people come is economic opportunity. And many of the things that we have talked about in terms of this growth of Latinos in the state of North Carolina and many other states that, for example, had meat processing plans in the 90s, uh, come as a result of satisfying this economic uh, demand for labor as well as satisfying their need for jobs. So it's an economic opportunity not just for the newcomer but also for the host.